All right, guys, I wanted to listen to the response speed on this uh, unit here. Got a nickel, a quarter, a nickel, a penny, and a dime. High conductors, medium, high, medium. So here we go. Well, anyways, you get the message. It's a, it's a fast machine. That's what I like. I think this is going to tear it up in the uh, fields for me, in my cellar holes. I'm going to pop that little 9-inch coil on, and it's just going to snake around in there and tear it up. Music to my ears. All right, guys, I've got another signal over here. Where was it? This is the one I wanted to investigate. Oh, maybe right here. Oh, that's not it either. There's so many of them. I have such a hard time with my other machines over in this area. I stay away from this well, basically, because it's just solid iron and garbage from that house. I haven't been able to pick through it. Now I'm not going to say my other machines wouldn't, even with my small little five inch coil though I was having trouble with the little accelerator. And uh, it was not fun. I wasn't uh, doing very well. So let me just double check. Ooh. I got it. It could be iron again. We'll find out. It sounds fairly good. I got a high tone located over to my right somewhere too. I wanna, we'll try and pick through. Wow, oh, there's it is. There's foil. I can see. You guys can see right down in there. That's only a few inches deep, but there it is. Now I guarantee. Oh, what do we got? Here's the rest of it. Distance. This stuff is thin, thin, thin. Another piece. Two pieces, so that's, that gave a beautiful signal. I mean, we couldn't miss that. Let's see what else is in this hole. Nothing else. There's some iron in there. See, it's spitting and sputtering. Kick the iron volume up. Hear it squeaking. That. I really need to start running that wide open and get used to dealing with that sound. That's how I like to run normally. Uh, use my ear as a discrimination. Uh, I'm just new to the machine. I'm trying to make some videos for you guys. So I was trying to basically pick through and cheat, I guess, as I would call it. Okay, we've got another high tone over here. If I can find it real quick while the camera's still on. Got the iron volume all the way up. Let's listen to this for a minute and see what we find. That sounds a little, a little squeaky. Smell that iron. Well, this is either 
iron or a bleed over from that, but I'd... No. There's a target here. Okay, it's right here, guys. Let's, uh, let's dig her up. And get a look at it. I have a feeling it may be... Maybe large, but boy, it didn't sound like iron. I'm sorry about knocking you guys around there. Okay. Ah, oh, there it is, guys. I see it right away before I even grab it. More foil. See? And boy, there's a bunch of... Let's, let me pop the pinpointer out a second and let's just listen down in that hole and the clot. The, or the lid. If you can listen to the lid, there's just, just iron everywhere. Got a piece right in there, right? Right there, little pieces of nail, see? Wire. And this is what I keep running into right in here. And this thing seems to be cutting through it pretty well. And more target in here. More iron. Yeah, see, look at this. Now granted, that was, again, uh, most of this was either laying next to or underneath the foil, so it made it easier for it. Um, but I have been finding this type of stuff on top of my good targets. Um, I'm hoping we can get a good example here tonight. There's definitely more stuff down there. I'm not going to dig it up though because detectors tell me it's iron. We listen. Yeah. Iron volume's on and it's. It doesn't like that target. And this is a large iron that's underneath, right, right down there. Okay, let's check them settings again. We are, uh, let me turn the macro on for this. Okay, I'm all the way up to Almost seven sensitivity, and we're running at six on the ground settings. Now they recommend not to go much over six to seven, or I believe six and a half seven, because they say you can start losing depth. Now I've ran this all the way up to nine and jacked the sensitivity to ten. Well, it, yeah, ten. It does say an actual ten, uh, and been able to run fine. And I swear I didn't lose depth. It seemed like I gained depth. Uh, but I can see what they're saying. I believe it's only some types of metal that you'll lose depth on, not necessarily everything. So, uh, but anyways, everything seems, I mean, she's running really smooth other than there's so much metal on the ground here. But the detector is really, I mean, look at how smooth it is. Not out of balance at all. I know I could jack that a little more if I wanted to. I don't really think we need to though here. This thing's digging plenty deep. All right, let me locate a couple more targets, and we will, there we go, and I will uh, turn you guys back on. I've got my nephew with me. He's over there digging. He's got the uh, a little machine, a little Ace 250 he's learning with. All right, guys, we got something here. It's, I had a little trouble locating this at first. Coming from the other direction, it sounded like a lot of iron right in here, but now I've got... It's a higher tone. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I've got the iron audio on zero. Oh, she's really solid now. I got a good lock on that. You can hear there's iron all. 
doesn't want I've got it on zero the iron audio so we're not gonna hear much of it it's just all right let's dig that up let's see what we got here right there Okay, I see something right away. Kind of big, but it's down, uh, eh, that's only about three, four inches. And it's definitely copper or brass. Let me pick that thing up from a mile away. Okay, uh, yeah, that's what we wanted. We found something. It looks to me to be a uh, casing from a fuse, maybe. Or it could be a cap for something, a lid. So it's got some kind of design on it a little bit, actually. Let me clean that up, check it out. Cool. All right, let's find something else. All right, guys, got another one here, kind of. Sounds the same as our last one did. I'm afraid this may be our last uh, clip for tonight because the battery's almost dead on this thing. This may be either smaller or deeper from the sounds. Let me, uh, sorry guys, I'm gonna just spread this tripod out a little bit it's I've got to get some better filming equipment that's what's really held me up from doing more filming and not feeling as though I can keep up with you guys is editing most everybody's anyways you guys are many Steven Spielbergs out there my hobby's detecting that filming you know I like to film and share with you guys that's for sure and I love you guys sharing with me really appreciate it, it really gets me through some days I met some great people through YouTube also and hopefully I've helped a few people out I know they've helped me okay I'm not seeing anything right away which is a good sign still down there now that's what I said. It sounded like a deeper target. It was either deeper or smaller. Good sign, good sign. Okay, we're down in the bottom, it looks like. Yeah, it's right down there. Okay, let's uh, try and do this one-handed. Oh, damage anything in case it's good. Oh, oh, tell me that was a rock. down about eight eight inches I would say right now you've got my pinpointer just about in the hole all the way we're not straight on the bottom now here's the bottom right there so maybe about seven inches Like a rock, to be honest. There it is. I think. Yep. Hmm, what is that? Oh, yeah. Geez, we can pick this up. Long way off. Here, how it gets quieter the further you are. I like that uh, 
uh, I don't know what they call that. It's basically depth through sound. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what this is, guys, but there's definitely something in here that it would have been uh, worth picking up. It looks there. I see some uh, teeth. It was probably a cog of some sort. That's cool. That's definitely something we would want to find. And I, yeah, and I don't think this is iron, all of it. This rusty part is, but these teeth aren't. Cool. All right, I'm gonna turn you off. Maybe we can get another clip in. All right, guys, I got another target here. Give it a try. Right here. right there, a little moss. Hard to keep the plug together. And we got some broken glass in the hole, that's a good sign. Not in the lid. Still down there. Good sign, huh? There was, was a couple coins in that cup. I don't know if you guys can see, it's getting dark. Uh, find the pinpoint right here. Okay, right down in the bottom. Very loud, very large. Hmm. Oh, there it is, it's moving. Well, maybe we can get this out without... I'm oh, sorry guys, oh, it's a horseshoe. There we go. Got me a horseshoe, okay. Well, we pick up horseshoes, which, <laughs> to be honest, I don't mind. I, uh, I've only found uh, two of these up recently. I found... Uh, one the other day, not with this machine either, with the uh, my mine lab, and I'm just glad I found it. To be honest, I've never found any. Uh, but yeah, we pick up horseshoes. My old way. Um, yeah, iron audio is all the way off, so there's no way around that. I guess we're gonna pick up some of this large stuff. Uh, nothing we can do. A little pottery in that hole too. That's interesting. Let me give it a swing over it. A little bit of iron in there still, but that's it, I think. Yeah, lots of iron around here. All right. Well, let's try and uh, save the battery for another. All right, guys, we're going to call it a night here. It's getting dark. As you can see, it's getting hard to see the truck. Um, I'm enjoying this new machine, CF77 through Macro. Uh, they're a company out of Turkey, by the way. I don't know if anyone else is using anything uh, out of Turkey, any of their other products. Uh, I think there's a company, one other company out of there. I'm not sure. They make, uh, the way I found them is they're making 2D and 3D stuff. I just happened to be gandering at it at the, on the web. They got some really neat equipment, high end stuff for penetrating, like ground radar, basically. And they happen to have this detector in it. And I checked it out. I'm glad I did. So I'm going to make more videos. Uh, probably be using this and my other machines, but I'm going to be definitely using a lot more of this and uh, more of macro stuff. I'm real uh, enthused with their products, basically. Uh, if this is their one of their first uh, hobby detectors out, I'm just imagining uh, what they've got coming. They start putting ID units and all that stuff out. So again, I personally don't need all that, but 
Uh, some of you might like it and uh, they've got the power. If they can put this kind of power behind that, we're going to be in great shape. So um, look forward to more hunts with me and uh, with the new CF-77 and uh, I look forward to watching your guys' videos as well. Everybody have a good night.